So let's go ahead and name our university. I will put this on presidents. And I will set it to three presidents. And we will pick the name of the college, the university, off of one of those presidents. Um, I am a little bit worried of whose names could come up here. But I'm sure that it will be worth the hilarity for whatever you all pick. Uh, and there's two good names on there. So we're going to do this. Three names are going to come up. <laughs> Watch it be like George Bush, George Bush, George W. Bush. And then, uh, but let's do this. Three presidents and uh, we will decide between those three. Oh my God. <laughs> so we got Zachary Taylor, Mr. Cigar Smoker Extraordinaire. We got Grover Cleveland. <laughs> I love how it says term one of two, but he was a two time. Uh, just two separate. And then we got good old James Madison. Ah, so I feel like James Madison University is already taken. So Zachary Taylor or Grover? I always, I always like Grover Cleveland. Though there's a lot of rumors that Donald Trump could be Grover Cleveland part two if he decides to run again this upcoming election and wins, and he'll have two separate terms. Just like Cleveland did. Because Cleveland was 22nd and the 24th president, which I think is really cool. Cleveland U, Grover Cleveland University. Zachary Taylor was a war hero. He only served two years, but you know. We could build a sister college. We could have Grover Cleveland uh, U1 and then Grover Cleveland U U2. Um, all right, we'll do Grover Cleveland. So if I did it again, I wonder who it would be. Arthur Hoover and Buchanan. Eh, I think we got some pretty good ones. All right, Grover Cleveland it is. All right. It's got to be Grover Cleveland College first because we're not big enough yet to be a university. So, we'll start with that. I just, I still wish there was more that I could put on this campus, though. Oh no, a building's burnt down. That's never happened before. Actually, don't see it. Oh, that's what I was going to do over here. Leftist Heights, where are you at? Um, I'm going to make you all do encourage biking and electric cars. So we'll see if everybody's cars over here starts changing to electric. I'm kind of interested to see if that what happens here. Yeah, we're going to do the we're, we'll do the football stadium soon. I wanted to buy the land to put the football stadium back here on this island. So the college grows toward it. Um, we do get a lot more car traffic on this road now. So maybe that means it's growing. I don't know. It says we only have 174 students, so I'm not sure. Cemetery needs water. Thank you. I'm struggling with tourism. Oh, 
I must be cursed since I moved those two things around. Uh, next game, 6-4. Okay, it's later. Okay, I, I hate the date in this game. I need a mod that changes the date to American Standard Date. Until my date's in Eagle Eagle days, I don't understand. Okay. Two with those eagle eyes. That's right. All right. So they want some more residential. Oh my god, I switched you all over to electric cars and you're already burning your house down? Come on, butler residents, chill out. Oh, they got like little trees on the top of their roofs. That's cool. I don't want to turn off... Uh... Keep it daytime. I mean, this part of the city is beautiful. I love it. Let's uh, add on a little bit here. parks out here we've not we've not done a lot of parks for a while a modern garage oh i forgot i downloaded that that's right oh we'll put a church out here i don't think i put any churches in this game and we'll put a park like right here I totally forgot that I downloaded the church mod in that parking garage. I'll put one of those parking garage. I don't even know what it does. Church looks cool, though. I'm surprised they don't just, like let people put in assets and then just like if you submit your asset it gets put in the game and maybe they put like a little thing under it and then it can randomly pop up like that just another peaceful pro what do you what do you talk about pete on here did i miss something Uh, where's that parking garage at? Oh, this is big. Um, I would like to put it downtown to serve. My downtown people, but I don't think that's going to work. Oh, I got it. I got it. <sighs> All right, these people don't want a job, so they get to be a parking garage now. Okay, maybe not. Um, oh, it'll fit there. Oh, that's so cool. That was a good building I just bulldozed. Let's 
So are you all in your electric cars over here, or do I gotta be mad at you? That's a sports car! That's not an electric car. They may be protesting. You might be right, Pete. Church there. That's what this town needs. Y'all need some Jesus. Need a church over here when they uh, come to the tourism place. My God, we have got a lot of dead people out here. A lot of dead people in a lot of these buildings just, uh... I don't understand the whole, uh... Put a crematorium there. I mean, there's a ton of dead people in, like, the, uh, downtown area. Like, I don't know what else to do with that. Put a cemetery out here. You know what? I think that a road with 17 cemetery. I, I think it's a little ridiculous. I mean, obviously, we got a lot of people dying in certain parts of the city because of the age, but. It, it's still a little ridiculous. I know there's a mod to fix that, but... But I think if I installed it mid-game, it would, like, break the city. Uh, no, you don't, you don't, no, 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 no. Uh, I think when the city's just abandoned, but, or the building's abandoned. Uh, let's see, I need, where's my one tools? Here we go. I want to flatten. Is there a way for me to squeeze? That's why. Put a cemetery in over there. Nah, the buildings you had the bulldoze are just abandoned. Nobody's there anymore. Or oh, they went out of business. This street is very busy. Look at this walkway behind this park. What do y'all need? More educated workers. I feel like there's a problem right now. They want more industry. Hey, 
one-way roads. Laurel Street comes all the way around. They've got other ways they can... Look at this! It looks like we need a back way out. I guess I, I could have another way out if I keep building. They'll have a way to get out on JLo Street. in there. Um. There's literally all this going this way. I probably got to make this way going out. And then this another way coming in. Let's come from right here. Have this this would be the out street. Out in. Yeah, bigger roads don't always help though. That's the problem. in here. And that goes out. Alright, so... We probably have to turn the light back on here. I refuse to rezone at this point. All right. That lane goes straight, this lane turns. Same frame for that one. Here, left, there.
Oh, is Popcorn Street a one-way street? I can't tell. No, it's not. People are going there. Eccentric Boulevard's becoming a big boy. I don't know what this cop's doing! Eccentric and lethal is a rough connection. I mean, we're almost to 40,000 people. We knew that we were going to have this issue again, so... Um... Honestly, other than that, it's not that bad. Yeah, this area through here is rough, but... I may have to make eccentric three lanes, or six lanes, coming all the way through. But, you know, that's something we can deal with later. Chess Club Republica, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good one. Oops. We got bulldozed the wrong building there. Definitely bulldozed the wrong building there. Surely there's nobody inside of it. They still need more. I think that's our problem right now is we need more educated people. So what's our education looking like? Oh, uh, we do need another elementary and we're okay for high school. So right now in our city, we have 23% uneducated. 19% are educated, 20% are well-educated, and 38% are highly educated. So that's what, 60, 77% is educated? And these are just basic industrial or commercial. It's not even the high ones. So I'm not sure. Crap, I just pulled those up. Good building. Um, I'm not really sure what we could do to even uh, help that out. Obviously, I'll build another elementary school and high school, but. All right, another elementary school, and then let's put another one of those uh, Institutes of Creative Arts next to it. What did that say? All right, so we got a, these are on Walker Street. All right, so we need to name this elementary school. 18, six lanes, 18 lane no highway, not enough. Let me bring up my random wrestling generator here. We will roll this and we'll get four names and uh, we will pick another name for the elementary school because all elementary schools in the town of Stevenson are uh, named after wrestlers. So let's see who we get. We got William Regal, which is already has a name. We got Rusev. Evan Bourne and Luke Harper. Oh, man. Oh, Brody Lee. I feel like we should name it after him. Just, uh, yeah, just out of honor of him. I think that's just already granted right there. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll call, we'll go ahead and call it Brody Lee. Brody Lee Memorial Elementary. It's in a good part of town, too, so that's good. And we need to name this uh, Institute of Creative Arts. 
Now, what we've been kind of doing on those, let me get my other thing over here, is we've been using celebrities for this. So I'll switch this to uh, celebrities, and uh, we'll hit it again, and we'll go the eight, and we'll pick uh, somebody for that. So, all right. Let's see who we'll have for this uh, art school. Boom, we got Robin Thicke, Bradley Cooper, Rachel Ray, uh, Rowan Atkinson, we got Mr. Bean there, Vin Diesel, <laughs> Jackie Chan, Patricia Arquette, and then Bob Dylan. Mm. There's some good names on there for our uh, School of the Arts. Curious what you all think on that one. Because uh, that's pretty good. Vin Diesel. I, I was thinking both of those. The Vin Diesel one is uh, amazing. Jackie Chan's good, too. The Vin Diesel School of Acting. Bob Dylan is a good one. I'm not a big Bob Dylan fan, though. I'll, I'll say that I couldn't even, but I'm not really good with music. So, like, people that are very defensive about music, people, before you go crazy, I'm not good with lyrics. And anybody that's watched my channel or watched my YouTube videos for a long time can say, I'm just not good with music. <laughs> it's just a given. Um, so... I really couldn't tell you much about anybody's discog discography or what do they sing or whatever. Um, so, so I think Vin Diesel is the best one for the laughs. So we'll go with that. So we'll go with, it's the Vin Diesel Institute of Family Arts. Because it's about family. <laughs> oh, it's so great. <laughs> I make myself, uh... Family, family, family. Okay. I, I'm glad that I crack myself up sometimes. So hopefully that helps our education issue. I really don't know how to bring in more tourists to the city. A bold move from our city to move away from the conventional fossil fuels. Hashtag electric cars are the future. Uh, Let's check on Leftist Heights and see how they're doing. Uh, do we have our electric cars? I see lots more solar panels. So they are adapting. I don't think this Volkswagen, this Hitler mobile, the owner is Earl Jones. Hmm. Oh, this looks like one. No, that's a sports car. I think they're cheating. I mean, there are electric sports cars. I'll give them that. I mean, I see their solar panels. They're, they're, they're doing their part. I don't know. I do like the high density uh, buildings they have. Those are nice. Oh, what's there's a lot of trash issues over here. I don't think our traffic... I'm going to have to put a back way out. Let's, uh...
hopefully that reroutes people. So if they come in here, let's make this road one way. Okay, that, that goes one way this way. And then we'll make this road one way. I think I did it backwards. Where's my big arrows that I usually get for my roads? Like, and why does this zoning thing go away? that way okay I think I got that right okay maybe that'll work out a little bit We've already got traffic coming down here, so hopefully that get that that gets some flow. So there's there's not just one way in and one way out. There's 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 flow on both sides. I hope. Now, I may have made this road the wrong way. It needs to come in. But again, I can't see my... I usually get arrows. There we go. Carroll Street comes back this way now. So now they have to come in this way. And then uh, if they want to come out, they got to go to the ends. Warehouses. I don't... The problem is I don't have... Do you just put warehouses to hold stuff? I thought the warehouses had to be connected with um, with the other industries like fish and wood and things like that. We'll build a small warehouse. And we'll see what it does. How about that? See, no resource selected. See, I don't... So you can do forestry or oil. Unique factories, maybe? Commercial zone goods. We could do a one over there on the other side of town. Let's do unique factories. I see, I don't think we got any of those. I know we don't have any unique factories. Animals, flowers. See, these are all things based on your industry. 
I'll put commercial zones. Uh, generic industry areas turn produce into specialized industry areas and goods, which you would sell in commercial zones. Okay, so maybe this is what we're talking about. It already says it's 27% full, so maybe you're right. We'll see this, because if it's on this main road, then they can use the highway to go where they need to. We'll see. I'm learning every day, so... I can design a good city. That doesn't mean I know how to do all the uh, logistics internally. Our roads are starting to back up again, though. JLo Street. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, what's going on here? Where did all this come from? Now look, what, this guy's going to the Househoods Good Factory over here. Why in the world would he get off here when he could go all the way through and get off over here at it? So that's just some bad routing. It sucks you can't assign like exits and be like, okay, this is the industry exit. You all get off here. That would help out tremendously. Well, look at Le Lethal Avenue is only backing up down here. This is the this is the rough area right here. And there's a light. I just don't know what everybody else wants. All the buses are here. Like, I mean, it's just, uh, oh, we did one academic work. We're up to, we got seven more students. We're still unrecognized. Toga party. Over 9,000 white bed sheets were appropriated by students for this year's toga parties. The ultimate user interface. Pen and paper are superior to all other user interfaces by Jug QA Ice to Line. This is traffic coming in. Let me see something. Where's that truck? Okay. What route? Can I not just look? Okay, so see, I, I, I don't know. I'm very confused. Okay, here. Lots of people bringing JLo Street in. Street's not one way, is it? Not. There's a bus over here. Maybe I just overload bus stops. We've also got a trash problem over here because nobody can get in and out. Oh. Um...
We're really starting to back up everywhere now. And I don't understand, because a lot of these people... Where are you going? You're going to the organic food mark. The traffic was solved until we put in a college. I'm, I'm going to fix this right now. Eccentric is going to save the day. Hold on. All right. It's time to upgrade one of our arteries. Having two th lanes come in. I may have to turn JLo coming into town or going out and Lethal coming in. Um, all right, let's go back out here where I started here and uh, start messing with this. Because it, it backs up all the way now. Okay, there's no. Okay, they yield. That's good. There's my lanes. Okay, you don't turn. Only one lane turns, two go straight. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, you just turn, the other two go straight. Okay. Uh, one lane turns, the other two go straight. That one has to turn. Okay, that one just turns, the other one just goes straight and turns. And this way, that one will turn, the other one goes straight. Okay, that's just the turning lane. Just one turning lane, and the rest goes straight. One turning lane, the rest goes straight. Can't turn here. One turn lane here. Coming back. Turn in there. The one turn lane in there. So that'll help alleviate that. Did I do this right? Yeah, just one going in. Parking. Goes this way, one goes that way. I may have to get rid of this road here. And instead of them coming up through the middle here, they actually come off another street. Um, I've been putting off upgrading JLo Street, but I think I'm going to have to do her as well. Because Lethal Street does really well. He's got four lanes and a bike lane. JLo right now is just four lanes. But let me start this and see if the new Eccentric Boulevard can move traffic a little bit more.
But I think what I'll have to do is have one of these take traffic out of town and the other one brings it in. Just like Eccentric is just bringing in so much right now. So many people decided to hit this part of town at once. Another thing I should debate is maybe bringing the interstate around here way down through here and have an over here so that uh we can bring uh one of these roads just out and people can go get on the interstate there yeah there's somebody dead in the stadium hey it's starting to move through here a little bit better actually now, whether that means people here will actually move. So yeah, Eccentric's moving really good right now. Look, y'all are just gonna have to hold on to your trash for a while, sorry. It's not my problem. Not my problem, says the city planner. Look, look, I've already got this moving again. Except these two idiots here, who blocked the, uh, this, this waste collection truck blocked the, uh, the thing. This city is doing, blame J2 Street. You know, it, it answers for itself right there. That should tell you all you need to know. I probably should make Blame J2 Street one way. People come in, and then they can filter into these streets, and then uh, they come out at the end of J2 Street, and they can go... Uh-oh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? No, I can, I can make this a one-way street here, too. And then um, they empty right back out onto... Uh, JLo Street and then get out. Make it two one ways. Yeah. Well, you know. Is there a light here? Oh my god. Okay, here. We'll put on a light. Obviously, we have to have that. It is blame J2 Street is being an issue. So we'll make it one way this way. 